a second for a pot on the stove to turn into a fire burning through your home. And this Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, is the most dangerous day of the year in the kitchen. Federal statistics show that more than 2,000 homes catch fire every Thanksgiving, and 69% of those fires start with something cooking. RTV6 anchor Jenna Coy shows us how many of those fires start and what not to do in those first critical moments. It did it within minutes because I know I wouldn't go on but a second or two. It only takes seconds for your kitchen stove to go from this to this. A fireball rolling through your home. Even a wash pot can boil over if something like grease gets too hot. For Joe and Julia Ankrum, melting candle wax started the fire that destroyed their kitchen. I turned the stove on as low as I could. Candle wax is highly flammable, just like grease. It kept flaming up very high. And as I kept walking out and he had the door open, I said, I can't, I can't. And I took it out and I flipped it with the water and it went up all the way up to the ceiling. The flames hit the drapes, smoke filled the house, and damage totaled $200,000. The top two things to remember when you have a grease fire, do not move a burning pan and do not put water on it. These firefighters agreed to demonstrate just how dangerous a cooking fire can be with eight cameras ready to capture what happens. Firefighters set a pan of grease on the stove and turned up the heat. Eight minutes later, flames. Now, this is where so many homeowners make that crucial split-second mistake, trying to move a burning pot to the sink and turning on the water. Because of the danger, one firefighter extended a pole with just a cup of water through a window. One, go. A fireball roars to the ceiling and across the room. Water is the absolute worst thing you can throw on a cooking fire. So what should you do? In most cases, a fire can be extinguished right on the stove by using a lid. Don't lift the lid until the pan cools since fresh air can reignite the flames. Another option for broader coverage Grab a cookie sheet or pizza pan. As long as it covers the circumference of the pan, just do the same thing you did as the lid. Just slide that cookie sheet right across the top and then turn off the heat. For added safety, fire experts recommend installing stove top fire stops. The tiny cans cover two burners apiece and hang magnetically from your hood vent. As the flames jump and reach the can, they ignite the tiny red fuse. The can pops open and drops a powdered chemical to snuff out the fire. It's just like a mini fire extinguisher, only it works by itself. The Ancrums now have the stove top fire stops installed over their stove. This would have prevented the fire having new things like this. I have a cookie sheet right here ready to smother the fire out. Because she never wants to see this again. Jenna Coy reporting, and there are several products on the market to help you put out cooking fires. Keep this statistic in mind. Somebody is hurt in three of every five kitchen fires while trying to fight the fire themselves.